E-waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world. Globally, it grows three times faster than municipal waste. Unfortunately, e-waste is toxic and not biodegradable and may contain persistent organic pollutants that harm human health and the environment. To address this global problem, 13 Latin American countries and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization are now implementing a project that aims to strengthen their national initiatives. Supported by the Global Environmental Facility, the initiative aims to enhance regional cooperation for the environmentally sound management of persistent organic pollutants in e-waste. The project will address e-waste policies, capacity building for e-waste management, social awareness and the upgrading of e-waste dismantling and recycling facilities. Cada año se producen unos 50 millones de toneladas de residuos electrónicos en el mundo, que es equivalente a unas 177 mil piscinas olímpicas. Para la información, una piscina olímpica tiene un volumen aproximadamente de 2.500 metros cúbicos. Esto es un problema muy serio, muy grave, pero gracias a este proyecto se eliminarán de una forma adecuada en la región unas 2.400 toneladas de plásticos peligrosos en los 13 países participantes. The regional launch of this initiative was hosted by the Ministry of Environment of Ecuador in Quito in March 2018. Well, para nosotros uh, todos estos proyectos son fundamentales porque queremos ingresar en esto que nosotros hemos dado en llamar la bioeconomía, es decir, cómo nosotros logramos que economías circulares se integren a uh, la matriz productiva del país. Cómo hacemos que la basura sea un buen negocio. Cómo hacemos que, cómo nos deshacemos de compuestos eh, químicos peligrosos que pueden ser dañinos para la salud humana. Y lo que queremos con estos proyectos es realmente estar en la vanguardia en la región en el uso y el manejo de estos eh, productos. Through the enhancement of South-South and regional cooperation, the project will help harmonize e-waste policies and strengthen knowledge management and information exchange systems. Uh, here, the regional dimension also comes into focus not only for regional cooperation on actually working on the project, but also on regional cooperation on what to do next, how to ensure that actually those who are dismantling e-waste can then sell their products possibly in the region, outside, how to jointly get stronger to, to derive at an economic incentive for companies to do the environmental good. And this is what this project is ultimately about, to have economic drivers to improve the environmental standing and in that way also to ease a little bit the burden on the governments to actually have to undertake responsibility for so much waste themselves. During the same week, the project's inception workshop was held where the foundations for future work were built and a steering committee meeting was held. This regional cooperation on management of electrical and electronic waste has already started and will last for five years. The project will contribute to the achievement of eight of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals by implementing circular economy activities, including recycling with due respect to the environment, health and labour conditions, for the benefit of present and future generations.